welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people in the Android community. I'm Huynh Duet Dao, and I'm speaking with... I'm Patrick Fuentes. Uh, Patrick, where are you based, and how did you get started in Android? Uh, I'm based here in the Twin Cities in uh, Minneapolis in the U.S. And how did you get started uh, doing Android? Uh, I used to, I was actually a teacher in a past life, uh, and I was teaching kids how to program and make apps, and I was like, I really like this, why don't I just do this all the time, so. Awesome, well, so we are in fact in Minneapolis for DevFest Minnesota, which Patrick is helping to organize and get together. I actually just stole Patrick away from important conference type doing things just to get a chance to talk to him. And I'm actually super excited to talk to Patrick because I feel like, um, you know, I, I feel like we've, we've only met a couple times, but I've heard many, I've seen many good things from you on the internet because Patrick is just a big part of the community, uh, the, I guess, Google Android community here in Minneapolis. And I would love to ask you, Patrick, about kind of like what you do, like you help run GDG here in the Twin Cities? Yep. Yeah. So uh, I'm an Android developer by day, obviously, hence why mm-hmm. I'm here and uh, started going to meetups locally and mm-hmm. ran into Google developer groups uh, here in the Twin Cities uh, and kind of fell in love. Um, really passionate about opportunities to um, learn new topics and share that wisdom with other people and uh, listen to really smart people share stuff they learn. <laughs> so. so, I mean, there's, I feel like in our, I guess, if, let's talk about the Android, I guess, community ecosystem. And I know like maybe for anybody that's new to Android development and maybe new to community, there's kind of a lot of things you hear about. Like you might hear about GDGs, you might hear about GDEs, you might hear about Droidcons, you might hear about other conferences. Can you maybe give people who might not know the difference uh, maybe a good overview on what GDGs are? and uh, kind of those other th- other related acronyms and things of this nature. Yeah, totally. Um, so there's a ton of opportunities uh, out in the community to get involved. There's a lot of private conferences uh, um, that are out for revenue, and there's other like uh, nonprofit conferences. Um, I work with uh, Google Developer Groups, which is uh, Google's official uh, volunteer arm. Uh, so I'm not like an employee of Google or a spokesperson for Google or anything like that. Um, they just provide resources and trainings um, uh, to help out uh, with folks like myself all over the world in communities to, to put together meetups, to organize conferences like DevFest, mm-hmm. uh, which we're here for. So that's Google Developer Groups. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you don't have one in your local area, I would be very surprised. Yeah. You should start one. <laughs> they uh, are they're all over. Yeah, totally. As you said, like, I mean, um, if you've ever gone to like the GDG program website and just looked, they're, they're, they seem to be everywhere, but I'm sure that there might happen to be some place that doesn't have one. Is it is it pretty e- easy to get involved or, or start up a GDG? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you're interested in starting a chapter uh, locally, I, I wholeheartedly recommend it if uh, there isn't already a GDG uh, chapter in, in your local area. And how much does like, I mean, I guess how much, what kind of support and how much support or I guess um, do you get from Google? Uh, a bunch. Uh, yeah. So, good. Right, yeah. <laughs> good uh, you know, it's, you, you could always want more. Um, but I mean, uh, I, I feel they've been super generous. They provide uh, some funding for, uh, oh. for example, like um, just on my mind because I was working on it earlier today. Mm-hmm. Um, the Google Cloud Next event, uh, we're having an extended viewing, and you know they provide like budget for food and stuff, and awesome. um, they help to sponsor DevFest. Mm-hmm. Um, and you mentioned separately the Google Developer Expert Program, the mm-hmm. GDE program. Mm-hmm. Um, there's tons of GDEs uh, out there in all kinds of subject. Uh, areas. So Mm -hmm. if you want to organize a conference or just a meetup and you're looking for an expert speaker, uh, Google can help steer you towards people that are willing to help out in the community. So say like someone, actually say like someone is already like uh, in a city where there's a GDG, um, is it pretty easy just to kind of step on by and just kind of like hang out and... uh... And participate? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you'll find regular meetups or workshops or hack nights uh, mm-hmm. or big conferences even. Um, there, there should be go- something going on pretty much every month. That's really awesome. Um, and like for you as like an organizer, like are there any kind of like requirements on you to like do certain things or is it more just like, hey, I want to do this thing. We're going to meet like, I don't know, monthly, bi-monthly or like how free is it for you to kind of do your thing in like a GDG? Yeah, it's it's super flexible. Nice. Uh, it's really crowdsourced, ground up. Uh, there's not a ton of like, it's not like Google's like thou shalt do stuff this <laughs> way. Um, you know, it's just really cool. People get together and 
talk about how we think uh, we can add the most energy and excitement and, and uh, value to the community. So what's your, I guess, what is as, as an organizer and as a participant, what are your favorite parts of like, you know, the GDD kind of like network? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, honestly, like, so uh, I'm super, cu- uh, I'm super curious just in general, but mm-hmm. like, I'm really lucky in that I love making apps and doing development and doing mm-hmm. design. Mm-hmm. Um, I get to do that for a living. Um, and the people that I meet through GDG and the Google Developer Expert Program, uh, um, my kind of people, you know, yeah. people that are curious <laughs> and always learning new things. And like, I, I guess in terms of like content or things that, you know, that maybe you might learn about at a GDG, is it kind of like, what kind of skill level? Like, can someone who's like totally like brand new to all the things join? Or is it kind of like, does it have advanced topics for maybe someone who's been working on different technologies for a while? What, what's like the spread, I guess? Yeah, it's kind of all over. And I bet that it... Not I bet it, it varies by community too. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've had meetups where people can learn how to do Android development with no development background uh, required. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if you're willing to put in the time and the work. We've had you know a deep dive on Recycler View mm-hmm. uh, just recently. Okay. Um, pretty much uh, anytime uh, Dan Liu uh, gives a talk, <laughs> it's, it's normally some pretty cool stuff. Uh, so I guess all over the place is the short answer. Nice. So, I mean, it definitely sounds like, I mean, I, I think that's one thing is that I remember when I first started in the community, I didn't quite understand, you know, like what all these acronyms meant. But obviously there's some really awesome people like Patrick who are really passionate about community and doing a lot of work to put together some really awesome meetups and events and, and other things that to help like kind of support all of us. So thank you, Patrick, very much for doing that kind of work. Um, any words of encouragement to anybody out there who hasn't quite jumped into the community yet? Or Yeah. Um, uh, so I, in my experience anyway, uh, there's like two major groups of people that uh, don't have, that are hesitant to get involved in community. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, one group is, is folks that are maybe um, uncomfortable in social situations. And for that, uh, <laughs> you know, that that's totally understandable. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. coming from their own place. Engineers, um, yeah, just like kind of stereotypical engineers. So, yeah. Totally. And th- and that's um, all I would say about that is um, y- you might be surprised how many people at the meetup are, are coming from the same place. And then the the second group is uh, probably folks that are like, oh, I've, I've got this knowledge. I've got to keep it to myself so I can <laughs> be the best. And um, I would just say... Uh, um, I can't think of any one engineer that is better than a, a, a group of, of good engineers. So uh, if, if you really want to be the best, then, then working with other people, I think, is the best way to do it. Awesome. By our powers combined, we are Captain Android? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, and again, like uh, I, I usually, I, I think community is one of my favorite parts about the Android, doing Android. And I feel like it's people like Patrick, people like, I don't know, like other people that, you know, we've gotten a really, we've been really like to talk to on this channel that make this community for me. And I feel like, um, you know, obviously if you are interested, there's people out there to help you. If you want to give back, there's people that are willing to accept your help as well. So thank you so much, Patrick. And uh, well, if people wanted to find you on the internet, how can they do that? Um, I'm on Twitter as uh, Pfue, P-F-U-E. Uh, I'm on a bunch of other stuff, too. If you want to look at my food photos, you can find me on Instagram Ooh. at the same hand. <laughs> but oh probably Twitter is the best place. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Patrick. And if any of y'all happen to be in the Twin Cities or interested in any kind of Google development topics or interested in getting involved, this is the, this is the man to hit up. Um, so thank you so much, Patrick, for talking with us. Thank you. And uh, thank y'all, and we'll see you next time. Bye.